This business from the other way. So the, the idea here is that... Um, asbestos, love it. Um, the idea here is that... Um, so in order to, for the dominant solution and the... So as you can see, it's a big difference between this 21,000 uh, figure and this 979,000 figure. It's a very big difference. And that's because we've got a 98% predictor accuracy, right? Now, actually, you can still get a split between the dominant solution of choosing both boxes and the expected utility solution of choosing one box. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do the mathematical proof for it, but you can get it by, uh, by having a predictor accuracy as low as 60%. Okay? As low as 60%. Now, once you get to like something like 60%, this figure would be something like... Um, 600,000. Yeah, this might be 600,000 and this might be 400,000, or yeah. maybe even closer. Yeah. This might be 550. 550,000, this might be something like that, right? They'd be, they'd be much closer. But there'd still be a difference, right? And still, as a rational agent, you're, you're on a bound to, um, to, to, to one box. Now, that 60%, shit, you know, they get people and put them in Abu Ghraib, right? And they, like, um, deprive them of sleep and feed them drugs. And they can get those people to tell them information. They can even control those people, make them do things. Uh, so contemporary psychology actually has got a, um, you know, as William Burroughs, the author, talked about often, uh, contemporary, contemporary psychology is about control, it's about uh, being able to, to really manipulate and understand people. And so I put it to you, ladies and gentlemen, that in view of the advanced psychological techniques that contemporary psychology is uh, so, so hideously misusing in this day and age, that uh, it is not unfeasible or completely science fiction example to expect that a contemporary psychologist, just a normal, um, you know, Josephine Bloggs uh, contemporary psychologist, could hit a 60% accuracy. And once she does that, she's not a weird science fiction person. She's not a goddess. She's not anything like that. She, um, she, she's she just. She has a solid credit rating. Like, it's <laughs> as easy as <laughs> Anyway, that's, all, that's, that's what I meant to say. So, Matt. Also, even Wally Lewis can only pick four out of eight in a week. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'd say to that. But, you know, I'd say there's one final argument for two boxing it's fatalism. So, before I choose, the, the predictor has placed the money in box B or hasn't. Right? So, it's important, you know, since we think that the, the predictor can't predict well. Since the predictor could have magical powers, and you know, no one has magical powers. Um, you know, it, it's you just can't rely on the predictor. So I would say that that you go for the sure thing, the sure utility, which is box A and B, and you walk away with a guarantee, at least a guaranteed thousand. Yeah. That's, that's, Alright, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a vote about who's one box in two. We're supposed to be running this dude. Uh, dude! Question. Yeah. Like if you chose box just box B, yeah. then are you more likely to are you more likely to get the million than you are if you had chosen box A and B? Yeah, that's right. So if you chose box B you've got a ninety eight percent chance of getting the million. Yeah. Whereas if you chose box A and B there's only a two percent of getting the million, but as Max says you definitely you get, get the thousand. Yeah. However, for some reason, the predictor, before you choose, has already decided, and it's not going to change what you choose. And Nozick's original argument doesn't so this infer is, a, this a, a probability. It's, so it's kind of like you have a, this is 98% yes, or 100% yes, 2% uh, yes, 2% yes, and that's like, What's the zero? You have ninety-eight percent chance of zero. Two percent chance of a million. No, no, two percent chance of um, that's two percent chance. Two percent chance of zero. Because she's ninety-eight percent correct. So you could you could one box and you've got a two percent chance of nothing. Yeah. Oh well, you definitely one box. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to. If you're going to be a one box, you wouldn't be a box A box. No, you can't. There's no, there's no box A choice. There's no point taking box A. You're always going to get the thousand in box A. Why, why just take box A? You might as well also go for the chance, at least the 2% the, 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 the chance of the, of the 1 million in box B. I mean, you could just take box A, it's true, but it's not a rational choice. All right, people, uh, so I think the idea is that uh, now we decide uh, are people one boxes or two boxes, so maybe make and, up your mind. Two boxes? Yeah, two boxes. Yay! Two boxes. And one boxes? Give me one K right now. I mean, <laughs> it's 90% to be done. I would lose these two points. Yes!
Size of the water, gentlemen. Come on, put your hands together. Whoa, I see.